Sally Cooks, and Chris is here too. And we're here live tonight. We're gonna to be making fish that Chris caught out on the boat this week. We're gonna make fish say. I'm used to saying chicken, but this is fish. Now, I got a gift today in the mail, this apron from Rich and Mike. They said when they saw it, they thought of me. So they sent it to me. Thank you, Rich and Mike. I am wearing it tonight, the day I got it out of the mill. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do a little egg wash on this fish and we're going to make it, um, we're gonna fry it in some hot oil. So I'm gonna turn around here, I'm gonna turn on this oven and I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil in here and start getting it a little hot. We've got potatoes boiling. I want it to have a nice good bit of oil, okay? So another thing we're going to do is saute some mushrooms and some butter, and Chris got me out some butter, he's the best. We're going to saute some mushrooms and some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And these things will be heating up while we're chopping up these mushrooms over here. You want me to, I guess I need to use the whole stick, so I'm just gonna let the whole stick melt in here while we're chopping these mushrooms. We're also going to saute some asparagus. I've got it washed and ready. That one looks a little wimpy there. Um, I don't know why, but my produce does not look too good down here. Like it did at home. And you would think us being down here would have good produce. I don't think it's quite as fresh as what we got at home, but maybe because we lived in the Atlanta area, we just, people went through more groceries. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. And that's gonna be for the asparagus. We're gonna go ahead and just chop up some mushrooms right quick. I'm gonna turn this off, it's blinking at me. I've already washed these because they were dirty. Sometimes you get mushrooms and you don't have a choice but to wash them. They're pretty though, aren't they? Pretty shrooms. And some were so filthy, I had to rinse them, so they're gonna be a little slimy, I'm gonna do them last. They were just really dirty. So with Francais, it is a lemon butter sauce with mushrooms. It is delicious. Now, a lot of people like capers. I am not a big fan of capers. Um, if you're one that likes them, you can always use those. Um, but I'm just not. But chicken francais does use mushrooms, I believe. Chris looked it up. He says that uh, there's an Italian... Is there an Italian version, or is it just... It's just an Italian pronunciation... So it's basically the same dish, and a lot of people have wine in it, you know, in the sauce. You know, there's some variations, but it's pronounced uh, Francesi, I think, if it's Italian, if it's the Italian pronunciation. The only reason I grew up eating it is because we had a Greek restaurant in our hometown, Polk County, and they served it, and oh my gosh, my whole family loved it. So we always got it when we went there. So if y'all are local to Polk County, go over there and get you some. They make chicken say I don't know if they make it with fish or not, but they have some good fried fish there too. They can just cook good. Thanks, that, Chris. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little salt in here. Well, that that butter is already salted, but I'm gonna add a little salt. I'm gonna add a little pepper. And I'm going to make sure that wasn't hot for me. Throw this in there. We might throw our asparagus in this butter sauce before it's over. It'll be good. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'm excited because two of the girls are coming home tonight. So I'll get to see them. And I met somebody special yesterday that came to clean the house and um, I really enjoyed meeting her. And so the girls will be excited when they get home and their rooms are clean. 
Boy, ain't that pretty. All right. This is starting to heat up, so let's get over here and season our fish. We're going to be using Hardin's Seasoning. A girlfriend of mine sent me this. She sells me all my paparazzi jewelry. And um, I really like this seasoning, especially on fish. So we are going to sprinkle our fish with this. And this is speckled uh, sea trout. Delish. Which is one of our favorites. Now, I'm not a fan of fishy fish. I'm just not. So when we catch fish, we fillet it. Then we put it in water, a water bath in the refrigerator. And that way it doesn't have a fishy taste and all the blood comes out of it. Uh, and I'm getting in here for eggs. Oh, and I got eggs over there on the counter. Yeah, we got eggs. I was thinking, where are my eggs? All right, I'm going to turn this down. Probably gonna be more than enough, and I gotta get a little bit of milk to go in it. All in it. I'm just gonna heat it up with a fork. Our grease is going to be just right by the time we get ready. Now, this is the way to cook. I started my potatoes before y'all got here because it takes them longer than anything. The asparagus, it doesn't take that long at all. Neither does the mushrooms and neither does the fish. So, we're dipping it in an egg wash and then we're coating it really good with some self rising flour. And I like to pack it on there, y'all. There, no, there ain't no need to double coat it if you pack it good. Okay, so make sure you get it on there good. So you're just gonna dip it in the egg wash, like so, and bring it over here and get plenty of self-rising flour on there, because self-rising is the baking powder. Now, if you, all you have is plain flour, you can use baking powder to make self-rising, or you can put some cornstarch in it. Just something to crunch it up, okay? But Mama raised us cooking everything on self-rising, so we don't always pull out cornstarch. And I asked the kids what they wanted to eat when they came home. They're not eating tonight, but you know what, Amy? requested chipped beef over toast and creamed potatoes and green beans. And she said, make sure you get that good French bread, Mama. I said, okay. Of all the things. I know. To request. Green beans and chipped beef. I said, okay. We can handle that. Just happen to have a jar in the Pantry. Only thing I don't have is the French bread. So Chris might, might have to make a store run in the morning. And May's been cooking. We called her the other day and I said, what you doing? She said, making pancakes. I said, what are you making them with? She said, Southern biscuit mix. I said, what?
Turn it down a little bit. Lord, I hate mess. Let me see my mess I made. What? With the flour. Oh, over there? Yeah. That's the way it is when you use flour. Yep. <clears throat> Can't help. Stir these. I like to put my lemon on mine at the end, and that way it's nice and plenty of it. Mm -hmm. so. What? We sizzle these. It'll be good though. That's the middle eye cook. Yeah, that's it. Potter, you think? That's ready. I'm just turning it off, y'all. Them are ready. The potatoes are ready. I'm going to turn them off. So the only thing I'm going to leave on are the mushrooms and the fish. And I should have timed them, and I didn't. It's been about a minute if you want to put two minutes on there. It smells like it's getting too brown to me. I'm going to flip it because it, it's really hot. And I don't want it to get too brown. Alright, this is a fish spatula. Chris, I can't get to my fish, honey. It's hard to flip. Well, you can smell that seafood season. It smells good. Mmm, that smells good. My goodness, I turned that up. Or something. I thought I was turning it off. What, are you talking about the asparagus? Yeah. Oh. I think we're going to have to throw it in the mushroom. Keep it from being crunchy. Alright, we're going to cut up one of these real quick. I got seeds in this one. I don't want seeds in there. Let me get out my little squeezer. And that is the correct way that you put a lemon in a lemon squeezer. You can look it up. Yeah, you put it in upside down. So, before you start telling us we don't know how to squeeze a lemon. <laughs> or you squeeze a lemon. Works pretty good, don't mm -hmm. it? Mm. We'll have to pull that asparagus out separate, but we can do it. Now it's in butter. More butter. It was in butter, wasn't it, anyway? Did you by chance look at this at all? It's 516. 513 is when you flipped it, but it had only cooked like... Uh, it was 513? Yeah. I want to say, yeah. yeah. But it only cooked about... One minute on that other side. Somebody sent me a message and said that one thing she's learned from me is cleaning as she goes. And that she really um, has started doing that and she likes, you know, she likes being able to not have such a mess when things are done. We're going to flip this. I'm all right this time because it's already been flipped. Flip. I just got to hold the skillet to be able to do it. Well, that one looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So let me get this cleaned up right here and um, get a couple of pieces out.
I need to go ahead and get that one out for sure. I think they're both ready. It is fish, not chicken, so it don't take it forever. Y'all can have those. You want to let them see me drop the other two, though, first? You want to just wait and do a plate and stuff? That's everything's ready. No, that ain't ready. I uh, like for that to cook all the way down. Oh, okay. Tell them that. Oh. All right. We're going to drop these. I need to turn it back up. That's the thing about frying. You've got to turn it up and down and regulate the temperature to get, to, to get it to do good. I'm going to wipe up this mess while that starts frying. And then we're going to start making a plate. That's for live. I don't want to keep you on here forever. But I do like for the mushrooms uh, see how that looks more clear now? And when we put the asparagus in, it was cloudy. You want it to look clear because if it's real cloudy, um, there's still a lot of juice in there from the mushrooms and you want those to come out. You want that to burn out of there. Okay? So when it's clear, it's like the butter yes. left? Yes. So you just want it to be the butter and not a bunch of mushroom juice. what makes potatoes sticky and you should have heard some of the answers but I can tell you right now what makes potatoes sticky if you cook potatoes and then you let them cool all the way down and then you heat them back up for supper they'll get real sticky and gummy okay if you cook potatoes that are kind of spongy and kind of older not good and fresh they'll be they'll be uh, like glue no matter what you do to them so what I do with potatoes that are a little older, like if you can grab a potato and squeeze it and it, and it feels a little rubbery, don't do anything with it but fry it. Or it's gonna be really gummy. Now, butter, butter, butter. This is a butter meal. You know what would be really good? I say, let's do it to these two pieces, and this is what me and Daddy will eat. It's a little butter in it. As we, uh, we're not going to have butter on the green one. That's why I like to do my fried pies. Now, these potatoes, all we're doing is putting butter on them and eat them. That's it. Simple. Somebody asked us the other day, don't y'all ever just have boiled potatoes? I'm like, yeah. That's Chris, one of Chris's favorite ways to eat them. So we salt and pepper them. And butter them. Now they're ready. This is really ready. I'm turning it off. I think they might have turned my butter sauce a little ugly.
I like them though. ready to squeeze on your plate when you get it done. We're going to eat the next two. It's going to be darker. You can turn it down a little bit, Chris. What the? Grace is getting hot. It goes from cool to hot. <laughs> Watch it like a hawk. It's not even on my eye either. I just all over my thing. I'm going to make it. Have you been watching the clock at all? Uh, it's, it should be ready. Okay. I think it's about 522 when you flip it. Well, I want to see the other side. I'll flip it over when I get it over here. Well, I can't. Hey. And you have to get some of the butter out of the pan. Hard to get it out. Angle. I'll just pour some over in a minute. Oh, I gotta get potatoes. That's my plate. Let's make Chris's. He's got all the burned asparagus. I burnt your asparagus, Chris. Got grease all over it. Let's clean it up a little bit. My Lord. Crazy country girl. what you're supposed to do. Pour it over it. That's how they served it at the restaurant with a bunch of butter on the plate. All right, we're going to put some lemon juice on it and we're going to eat. Now, if you don't like fish, 
then just make it with chicken. But make sure that your chicken is, is really thin. Cut it really thin. Okay? You're going to want to do that. And here goes the lemon juice. give it a try for y'all before we go. Hope y'all have an amazing night. I'm going to have a good night. I'm going to turn this on as soon as we get off here so the fish smell gets out of here. And uh, let's give it a try. It's nice and crunchy and hot. But now mine come out a while ago so it shouldn't burn me. Yummy. I said, Chris, how do you want me to cook your fish? He said, make friends say with it. I said, okay. Mmm. It was hot, though. It was really good. Really good. Woo! If you like fish and you need a new way to make it, table and press somebody. I'm telling you, it's good. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching. You want to taste it for them, Chris? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. That's it's his fish that he caught. Mm-hmm. Just use your fork. Chris, I was going to take a picture of that one, honey. Okay. It tastes mine. Nice and crispy. Yeah, it is. Falling apart. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Oh, man. Delicious. How about the burn asparagus? Um, is it tough? Yeah, a little bit. It's not fresh. The produce here is really got to find some better produce. If you live it locally, it's really good. I know. I'm sure it does because of the. It's, it's kind of caramelized. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's actually really good with that lemon. Um, but it was kind of wilty already. And I mean, I, we just got it yesterday, y'all. Yeah. So, oh well. All right. Thanks for watching. Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook. Fish Francaise. Like? Like Mama did. <laughs> or like he, Mama ate. He acted like he didn't know what to say. How many times have I said that? A million? A million. Y'all have a wonderful night. And thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks. Bye. Love ya.